Whoa. Someone's Whoa. going to heaven. Whoa. That is not. Whoa. 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 That's nice. You can see it. We were supposed to be there in that moment. It was made for us to see them and just bring us together and share that experience. And it's something that I don't think any of us will ever forget. I love it. The day's getting ready. I didn't want to go. And then I'm here and I don't want to leave. It's just such an amazing thing. It, not what I thought it was going to be. What's happening is for a week we have indigenous youth participants all between 18 to 30 years old that are new to trade and wanted to come to help to retrofit the teacher cabin here at Chicamers. Kalila, the Squamish word for butterfly and transformation. You know, we originally thought it was for just the application of transforming a cabin, but we've been able to see the students transform before our eyes. I love the work. I love being able to see and be like, hey, I did that, I helped with that. I feel proud. I feel like I'm a part of something important and just knowing that it's gonna benefit the kiddos and the teachers and the instructors for many years to come. I've never seen an indigenous instructor before. I've never seen an indigenous woman instructor before. It was so insightful and just hearing where she came from, where she's going and how she got there, the struggles and the wins and just hearing an indigenous females perspective on being a woman in the trades and being a leader. Just seeing that, I feel like, hey, I think I can do that. I think I want to do that. I never knew it was possible before, and it just gave me a lot of hope. The teachers have been awesome. I did not expect how passionate they are. I just expected, like, do this, do that. Just like demanding, like, drill sergeant kind of things. Uh, he's amazing. I feel like I walked past him having, like, a really emotional pep talk with, like, several of the people here. It's just very, very inspirational. And they're all just so connected to their ancestors and their history. It's just so nice to see. I don't know a lot about my heritage, so the only way I can learn about cultural heritage is through programs like this in a meaningful way. So it's been very inspirational. I've cried a couple times at some of the ceremonies. There's a lot of First Nations youths that need some guidance to get them out of their homes, to get them off their reserves, to come down to the city, come to some urban setting away from what they know and challenge themselves. Just get them out of their comfort zone and get them to realize that it's a safe environment and they can experience some stuff that they may or may not want to do, but it gets them out the door. When I was younger, I didn't know where I wanted to go. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And sometimes when there isn't access or resource to programs or education, it leaves you in a spot where you're just kind of floating around for a bit. I'm really hoping that these types of programs really allow Indigenous youth to see what's out there and also to kind of get their hands-on experience so that they can be inspired to actually move forward in something that they love to do. I was learning just very, very efficient ways on how to build the houses. So if I ever was gonna go back into this, then I'd be like the young new person telling people how to properly do it. I'm somebody who kind of struggles with making friends and connecting with people, but this program kind of like helped me connect with people a lot quicker than usual, a lot faster. Got to like learn new things about people and it overall helped my speaking confidence. And just when I actually like put my phone away, just communicating with everybody, oh, I was so good. Cause like, usually I'm some type of guy to just watch YouTube when I eat. Couldn't do that obviously there because we're at a table with everybody talking. So it was honestly a really cool experience to just be able to just sit there and chat with everybody. We've all become really good friends. We've all became really close. We're all hanging out at night around the campfire and just talking about life and our experiences and stuff like that. Seeing them be a little bit kind of introverted and shy and then come together and really grow and learn as a team has been really an amazing thing to see. The career in the trades is something that's really been undervalued and it's opening up possibilities for them that maybe they didn't realize were suited for them. For me, like my carpentry, I was only doing it just to get out of high school, but this was like an actual program I was willing to do. And once I did it, it really opened up my eyes to doing trades. Uh, we need more designers. We need more tradespeople. Um, so I think the main thing for me is to have them think of a career in housing, get them to understand that housing uh, is a career that can give you, you know, a good revenue, but you're not just getting a good salary for the sake of it. You're living a life where you're actually doing good by making, you know, good houses that are low carbon. 
Yeah, I think it'd be really awesome to bring stuff like this to my band. We don't have a lot of like role models, I guess. I don't think there's a lot of hope. <laughs> like we just don't see purpose. So I feel like I can bring this to them and be like, this is something that we can do to, you know, protect our land and just bring our community together through building. I was someone who kind of wanted to stop doing all the educational stuff once school was done and everything like that. Cause I did not like school. I did not like sitting in the classroom. Not, no, that was not my gig at all. But like just doing this, it was a very cool way of learning. Like this stuff for me, I feel like I'll actually use the information I learned over this week than most information I'd use in high school. And that's, it sounds really bad, but that's kind of the truth. Youth are, you know, they're imagining their whole lives before them, right? So like this just being a little kind of taste of what the trades are like can give them that ability to open doors and dream about their future and what they want. And so seeing them blossom and open up into just thinking about what avenues are possible, you know, that that's, that's amazing. And honestly, the sky's the limit for them. It's uplifting Indigenous ways of knowing. It's supporting Indigenous youth to get involved in a critical part of our future. You know, we need sustainable building practices. We need the ingenuity and wisdom and, and energy that all youth and Indigenous youth can bring to this space. But there's like this really powerful legacy. They're coming together for a week but we know that their hard work stays here for decades to come. You know, this is a learning center for people to come and learn about what reconciliation is, you know, the true history, and, you know, to have their hands, their imprints, their time and energy spent on some of the projects here is, is pretty powerful. I want to go to BCIT and join their trades program and just kind of figure out, like, where can I be a leader? What can be next for me? And how, what can I do to help with our planet and like building sustainably and helping our communities? I'm extremely humbled and honored to participate in such a program. It's just been such a great experience. I think when we come here, we sort of stretch ourselves a bit outside of our comfort zone. And as long as we're respectful of not going too far, we can really kind of see that growth and that little bit of stretch. I guess been sort of life-changing for me too. You can really tell that they don't want to leave. They want to stay and they want to do more. And then they get that pride, kind of like I do whenever I, I work on something. I get to say, I built that. Now I get to say the students built that. They get to tell their communities that they can do it. It is paradise on earth. I've never been anywhere like it. The energy here is unlike anywhere I've ever been. The one with the boardwalk around it, there was a crevice where you could fit your whole body inside it. And I, when I got inside of it, I put my head up. I can feel the heartbeat of the tree on my back. And that's what I was listening to. When you touch it, you can feel the spirit or the energy inside of the tree. And to just like allow yourself that connection is so grounding. It feels like it recharges your soul.